All right, I've seen your messages. I get it. You want to know what the new Makeup by Mario foundation looks like on me. Wow, this is glowy. What? Wow, if you have dry skin, this will be perfect for you. It all comes together. So I picked up four of the shades. These are the last four or the highest or the darkest shades that are offered. First, we have the shade 26N. So N is for neutral. And I feel like this one might match me perfectly, but maybe too perfectly. Maybe best in the winter. Definitely not a summer color, but we're gonna swatch all of these, so we'll see. And then next, I have the color 27W for warm. This one could match me as well, but you know that I don't like to be warm because then it looks too red. It's just not my steez. It could work. I, I know I can make this work, but again, we'll swatch and see how that looks. Then next we have the color 28W, still warm, darker. This is gonna be way too red. I already know it's not my color, but we'll swatch so you can see. If you use me as a color match, I wanna give you a sense of what you should pick up because there are some differences in these four shades. And then the darkest shade that I have is 30. W, so still warm, deeper, obviously really dark, not gonna match my skin maybe in the summertime, you know? But we will see. So I've already done my skincare, primed my face, and SPF. Let's do swatches. The top looks like a skincare product. So this is the Surreal Skin Liquid Foundation. It retails for $42, okay? And it's got natural finish, hydrating, medium coverage. It's obviously a liquid formula, long wearing. It's breathable, luminous. On Sephora, it says that it effortlessly blends to illuminate the complexion and it looks like it has skincare ingredients in it okay so for swatches this is 26 n now we all know once you blend out foundations it really does come together but at least that gives you an idea of what that would look like here is 27 w what do you think about that shade this is 28 w and then here's the last shade 30 w nice deep beautiful i can obviously see lots of opportunities for shades in between these last four certainly an issue for me just off rip i mean there are going to be a lot of us who are we're not gonna find our shade. I would venture to say that not 28W, so not that one, not these two. I like N, I like to be neutral, but I, I feel like I can wear either of these two. I'm torn because if I wear this, I may regret it because it may be too light overall. Because you know me, I like to go darker with my foundation and then lighten it all up with a highlight, it all comes together. And I'm not gonna mix two different foundations. To me, it's a waste of money. It needs to match me and it needs to work just with one product. And if I wear this one, I'm concerned that it might be too red. But this this I feel like would be too much of a, of a close match. <laughs> I'm gonna go with 26N. I like N, I like to be neutral, okay? A mix of both, and we'll just have to see how this works, okay? I'm gonna blend this out with the Morphe E63 brush, cause it's just, it's just easy and good. I normally don't put it onto my face, but I've been doing things differently these days, <laughs> okay? So here we are, yeah, see? It matches me almost perfectly. All right, so, so far it looks good. Definitely on the hydrating side. When I do a word test, it's gonna be in the 70s today. So I already expect to have some oiliness. This would obviously perform differently if I were to be in Colorado in the thick of winter, you know what I'm saying? So clearly when it comes to hydrating foundations, choose it based on your environment. Like I've said many times again, if you're gonna be in a cold weather area, you wanna use a hydrating foundation and a hydrating skincare routine because it'll make your skin look so good. Wow, this is glowy, what? Wow. Wow, if you have dry skin, this will be perfect for you. I would never wear this on a hot summer day. This would be reserved for cold weather vacation or cold days in Houston. Wow, I mean, this is nice. Like I said, if you have dry skin. Close up on the coverage, I did two palms as you saw. It's looking amazing to me. Oh my God. This is definitely my shade, okay? Which is nice. I knew from the Sephora site that 26 ended my shade, but I wanted to compare to the others. This looks amazing, glass skin off rip. If you have dry skin, like I said, fantastic. I'll finish the face and come back and then we'll do the wear test. Okay, so look, I already have an issue. I've been doing my makeup and I've already highlighted. This is what I do. I keep all the other products the same and then change one thing. That way I can eliminate and isolate and see what exactly is making me look whatever way I'm looking. So the concealer that I'm using right now is what I've used several times. It is the Lancome Tanti Dual Ultra Wear Concealer. The shade is 500. It wasn't light enough under my eyes, so I had to use the Morphe Concealer, the full coverage 
orange one in the color C4.35. Now, when I say not light enough, what I'm saying is that because the foundation matched me so closely, the concealer that I kept constant did not look as bright as it normally would because I normally use a foundation that is darker than this shade that I have on right now. So this shade that I have on right now is too light, too light, it matched me, but I don't normally go with what matches me exactly. I like it to have a tint, like a hint of it being a little bit dark because then when I do my concealer and the whole nine yards, like I said, it all comes together. My issue with this is if I were to go with the other shades that are higher than this one, the W's, I'll be red. I don't like that. So already I'm, I don't plan on keeping this foundation, but I'm gonna do a wear test to show you how it looks in its entirety for the whole day. But already I'm like, no, I don't have a shade that I feel confident in. Just saying. Okay, so I've yet to run my fingers through my curls because I had curled this wig and let it sit for a long time. I'll link it below. This is my four by four AliExpress situation. I want to tell you about this lip liner. This is Booksome Cosmetics Creamy Chocolate. Look how deep and beautiful this is. And then I recently tried this NARS Air Matte Lip Color. This is the color Dolce Vita. If you've tried these before, let me know. And this eye look is my tried and true soft glam go-to. I'll link a video below where you can watch how I do it. It's really easy. At least to me. <laughs> it just feels so airy and matte, like it says. I wanna put a gloss on top, but then I hate my hair gets stuck in the gloss. Okay, now into the word test. Okay, wear test check-in, it is now 12 o'clock and I did this base at 7.30. I am extremely dewy. I still stand by the idea that this is perfect if you have dry skin, perfect if you're living in a cold weather climate, or if you don't and you wanna have around, which you should, a foundation to keep for when you do travel to a cold weather area, this is perfect for that. My skin looks delicious, like juicy, delicious, amazing. I'm going to blot right now because I don't want to look like this. It's 75 outside, but it's holding up and it looks really good. So comment below and let me know what you think of it so far. Okay, it is currently 8.49 p.m. So this is a 13 hour check-in, 13 hour wear test. I think that the makeup still looks beautiful. I could go out right now if I wanted to. Obviously, outside of the foundation, I've done my whole entire face and that does play a part in the longevity of the actual makeup. But does it look beautiful? Do I like this formula? I do. Do I like the shade? I do not. It is very obvious to me that my face is lighter than my skin in a way that I don't like. I go back to what I was saying before, which is that I usually tend to wear foundations that are a little bit dark because then when I complete the whole face it comes together and I feel like it's a better match for my skin. It's okay, it passed, it, it was fine, I didn't look strange but in my eyes I could see the difference based on what I normally do so I'm gonna return all four of these because obviously the other three are not gonna work. The other two are warm, I don't do red and then the 30 is obviously wicked deep and then this is the one that matched me too too much. So anyway that is my review. Comment below and let me know what you think. Did you find your shade do you plan on purchasing it to try it out? I want to know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.